All right, lots to talk about tonight regarding some new developments just over the last few hours, and this is big. It started when the feds today shut down Mega Upload, the file sharing service that apparently has more than 150 million registered users and 50 million daily visitors. Now it's accused of taking away $500 million from copyright holders. So the founders and employees of Mega, Mega Upload have been charged by a U.S. grand jury with copyright infringement, and at least seven of them have already been arrested. Agents have also served at least 20 search warrants across the globe. Now, in response, the largest attack ever by the hacktivist group Anonymous. They attacked and successfully shut down the sites for the U.S. Department of Justice, the U.S. Copyright Office, Universal Mus Music Group, the Recording Industry Association of America, and the Motion Picture Association of America. Now, you may have heard uh, of some of these anonymous-related hacks in the past to take down other government websites, but never have they gone after so many at once. So right now, I've got Barrett Brown, founder of Project PM, also a man who's worked with Anonymous on various operations. He's in Dallas, Texas right now. Uh, Barrett, I just want to confirm first that this is indeed the largest ever attack. Is that right? It seems to be an uh, attack of that nature. There were a number of targets, uh, high-profile targets, that were taken down in some instances for quite a while. Uh, there were a number of uh, lesser assaults on whitehouse.gov, uh, defense.org, uh, sorry, defense.gov, and uh, a certain French uh, music industry association as well that was taken down. Uh, I think it's still down, actually, as of this time. All right, so I know that it was the U.S. Department of Justice that actually announced this um, uh, retaliation, I guess, against Mega Upload, and then you guys went after U.S. Justice Department. Talk to me about why uh, you picked some of the other websites. I think I have a hunch that it might have to do with uh, SOPA and PIPA, um, and then also what can we expect next? I mean, I've been keeping my eyes here on, on WhiteHouse.gov, but um, uh, what's, what's on the horizon here? Well, these uh, VDOS attacks are all being perpetrated under the banner of... Uh, uh, off mega upload. And so from that, you can, you can sort of see the, the extent to which this was prompted. These reactions were prompted by mega upload going down. And about uh, seven minutes, uh, sorry, it's about it's within 70 minutes of off, off mega uploads uh, raid and new status having been announced, anonymous about a press release, and it already taken down justice.gov uh, and then a few others. Uh, so but obviously this, this it couldn't have come at a worse time for, in terms of the government's standpoint. Uh, they, they could not have chosen a worse time to take down Mega Upload, coming as this is the day after all these websites uh, blacked out uh, in protest of SOPA. Uh, and this, obviously, the Mega Upload issue definitely falls into that on, on the other issue. So now, in addition to everything that was planned in terms of attacks and chaos for today, uh, several effective operations, you know, were, were done under the uh, banner of uh, Operation Mega Upload. Now, in the meantime, uh, over at my group, Project PM, which includes some Anons and some others, uh, we launched, uh, likewise, as Russia Today reported earlier today, and as Washington Post uh, is about to report, uh, another operation called Operation Donkey Punch. This is uh, predicated on the idea that here we have We've had a number of uh, congressmen switch their votes in, in a period of 24 hours uh, based on the blackout, you know, participated in by Reddit and others, uh, while also uh, the, with these Democratic congressmen who are still planning to vote yes on SOPA and support it. And, and the reasoning from their standpoint is that, you know, they're not going to get any retaliation. There's so many of them, they, it will, it'll go under the radar. They'll be able to support SOPA, keep getting their money from their, their donors in that industry, and move on with their lives. So we seek to change that. Now, I, I should fill our viewers in. First of all, that's a very interesting name for your operation. Um, I won't say it again. Um, but just for our viewers, I, I want to fill them in just in case they have been sleeping this week. Um, SOPA and PIPA, the Stop Island Online Piracy Act proposed in the House and the Protect IP Act proposed in the Senate. Um, as you mentioned, a major change in many lawmakers who were once for it, um, now coming out against it, especially after some of these blackouts yesterday by the websites, including Wikipedia. Uh, Google had a symbolic blackout. Um, but apparently Apparently, Barrett, the government didn't need SOPA and PIPA to make these arrests today. So I'm wondering what you think. I mean, where does this battle go from here? Well, I think what it illustrates is that even without SOPA having been passed yet, the federal government always had tremendous powers to do some of the things that they want to do. So even without, so this is what can occur without SOPA being passed. Imagine what will occur after SOPA is passed and PIPA and other things of that nature. 
Uh, I mean, they're not they're not giving up on this. This is this is a war they they plan on fighting, you know, to the end, and so do we. So we can expect a great deal of havoc of the sort we see today. We're going to see it. We're going to see it in a stepped up fashion. We're going to see more people learning how to use the LI, LOIC tool that, that's used in taking down websites. We're going to that's what I was going to say, Barrett. I mean, what does it mean when you say this will not end until you until you succeed? I mean. Obviously, you succeeded um, momentarily, or Anonymous succeeded momentarily in shutting down some of these websites. But you know, they're back up right now. Um, right. What What are you yeah. hoping to achieve? Well, this is a long effort. A victory will look like this: uh, there will not be any more bills floating around the Senate with the intent of doing these things. Uh, there will be, in fact, new bills put in by the few sort of technocratic members of the Congress that will specifically seek to stop these sorts of things. And it's not going to end for a while. This process. Uh, by which, I mean, it's going to be impossible for us within just a few weeks or a few days to prevent any more of these bills to go forward and to prevent things like mega upload from being raided. But we can get to that point, and, it, and it's a number of steps. And the first step is showing people that are lobbyists, that are congressmen, et cetera, that it's not going to be practical to be on their side, because in the long term, this is the winning side, ours. Now, I want to ask you, I mean, I know you haven't said uh, whether or not you've participated in today's attacks. Uh, give you the opportunity to say that if you want. But, but even showing your face on, on here, Barrett, I mean, what happened today is certainly illegal. Um, why are you willing to show your face? Why are you willing to come out and talk about this and, and affiliate yourself with, with what's going on here? Well, my name's been openly used since my Project PM days early on before I got involved in Anonymous, and I've remained, you know, I, I, I don't. If, if I don't care about the rules of America, you can, you can imagine how much I will that care, care about the rules of anonymous, you know. Uh, so I go with my face. Also, I'm more useful uh, as a name fag than I am just as another person with his name hidden. Uh, have you been that, approached by, by the government at all? Uh, I have approached some of them. Oh, interesting. And uh, they have never come to talk to me. They had there was a Pentagon investigation that you guys reported on that was uh, in reference to something I had kicked off against them, and they never came and talked to me. No one talks to me. I'm a very lonely person. Interesting. So um, I, I guess just finally, you know, Barrett, what should we be watching for here? What should we expect to happen next um, from from the angle of Anonymous? You know, what are they going to do next? I, I see WhiteHouse.gov is still up. Um, do you think that that is going to be successfully taken down tonight? If, if Anonymous is smart at this point, they'll see what's worked in the past few days, because it wasn't just uh, Reddit and all them going down that 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 prompted so many of these of, of this massive switch in, in people who are supporting SOPA in the Senate in the House. Uh, it was also you know just another of just minor grassroots techniques. And as we go forward, we're going to keep finding out which of these techniques has the most bang for your buck value. And so as we refine our methodology and as we split into small groups uh, that can work together better and and more efficiently. There's going to be so many things going on that it's going to be impossible to assess. All right. Um, so we do hope you keep us posted on what's going on. Um, RT.com is certainly reporting on the very latest uh, in all of this. It, it was uh, big news today. Once again, uh, the biggest uh, hacking attempt take, takedown by Anonymous in its history. Founder of Project PM, Barrett Brown. Thanks so much.